are looking at as own mean method. It is one of the methods used in calculating mean of a data. You will remember that before we went on the coronavirus induced holiday, we had looked at calculating mean using raw score method. Also, this is another method. The assumed mean method is another method using calculating mean of a data. This morning we are looking at calculating mean of ungrouped data without frequency using assumed mean method. And for you to do this, there are some steps that are needed to be followed. These steps are listed here. The first one is to rearrange the scores in the distribution. And then the second step is to determine the inclusive range or range. This is to determine whether the data should be grouped or ungrouped. The third step is to form two columns. The fourth step is to arrange the scores. Arrange the scores in the data in column one. The fifth one is to pick a score as assumed mean. The sixth step is to indicate deviation from the mean that is assumed in column two. And then the last step is to apply the formula mean is equal to assumed mean plus deviation all over n. It is, it can, this formula can also be written as assumed mean plus deviation all over n, where mean stands for mean, a stands for assumed mean, mean minus z stands for deviation from the assumed mean, n, capital N or small n stands for number of scores. Now let's give, give an example and see how we can follow these steps to solve it. Calculate the mean of these scores using a zone mean method. The scores are 8, 4, 3, 7, 5, 11, and 10. Now from the steps, the first thing we need to do is to rearrange the scores. And that is what has been done here. We are trained for remember that there are two ways scores can be arranged either ascending order of magnitude or descending order of magnitude. But here we are using ascending order of magnitude. So the scores are already arranged 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, and 11. And the second step is to determine the inclusive range or range. Now, range is simply the highest score minus the lowest score. And the highest score here is 11, while the lowest score is 3. And so the range is 8. The inclusive range also is just highest score minus lowest score plus 1. The highest score is 11, the lowest score is 3 plus 1. And so the inclusive range is 8 plus 1, which is a 9. Now these scores, either 8 or 9, it's less than 15. Remember that for a data to be turned to be grouped, the range or inclusive range should be up to 15 and above. That is the principle that is involved. But since the range, range here and the inclusive range is less than 15, this data is to be ungrouped. And then the next thing now is to form two columns. Form two columns and in column one, arrange the scores. The scores are already arranged here 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, and 11. And then in column two, we are supposed to determine deviation. First, we are going to pick a score as assumed mean. And for this distribution, 7 has been has been picked or chosen as assumed mean. And so when we are looking at the deviation side of it, that 7, which is the assumed mean, will have a numerical value of 0 because that is where 
the data originates now is the assumed mean. And then going upward, uh, 5 minus 7 is minus 2. 4 minus 7 is minus 3. Y3 minus 7 is minus 4. Then above that 7, eight, uh, eight, uh, seven, 8 minus 7 is plus 1. 10 minus 7 is plus 3. And then 11 minus 7 is plus 4. If you add the negative integers, it will give you minus 9. And then if you add the positive integers, it will give you plus uh, 8. And then you apply the formula called the assumed mean formula. A plus mean minus D all over N. A stands for the assumed mean. The assumed mean here is 7. So that's the 7 there. Plus the deviation from the mean is minus 9 plus 8. Minus 9 for the negative integers plus 8 for the positive integers divided by 7. 7 stands for the number of uh, scores. Remember that this scores 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are several scores there. And that is why the end is uh, 7. And then again, 7 plus minus 1 all over 7. I remember that here we have minus 9 plus 8. And that will give you minus 1 over 7. And then minus 1 divided by 7 will give minus 0 0.14. And subtracting it from the 7, which is the assumed mean, you have 6.86. And so the mean, the mean for this data is uh, 6.86 using the assumed mean method. Thank you.